Hey guys, this is Austin. And John. With Walton's TV, and this is Meet Gistics. Every true American loves bacon. Every American has the God-given right to wake up to the delicious smell of bacon at least a few times a month. We've done videos recently showing you how to inject or brine a bacon, and one on how to make a dry rub bacon at home. Another way to make bacon is with our imitation bacon seasoning, which allows you to make bacon out of any type of meat. You can use beef, wild game, poultry, even just leaner cuts of pork. Today we're going to be showing you how to make three different types out of turkey, lean pork, and beef. Rather than a whole muscle product, our imitation bacon will be a ground and formed product. Our process is gonna be very similar for all of these other than the amount of fat that we're gonna be adding or not adding. If you're making this out of whole muscle, you need to grind your lean product twice through a 1 8 inch plate and your fat once through a 3 16 inch plate. We have some 80-20 ground beef here and we also have some fatty ground pork as well, uh, a little fattier ground pork as well. And we're gonna start out with those already ground on both of those and then on the turkey, we just stopped by the store and picked up some already ground 85-15 lean to fat ratio turkey. Um, we've said it before, but it's worth repeating, whether you're making bratwurst or snack sticks or whatever, there's nothing wrong with going to the store and picking up an already ground product and starting from there if you don't have a grinder. You won't have as much control over the entire process, but you can still get a great and tasty product by doing this. If you want to get real fancy with your imitation bacon and start with whole muscle meat and grind it yourself, you can keep the lean meat separated from the fat to layer the lean and fat meat and truly create a more bacon looking product we'll simply be combining it all together. So we won't get that uh, separate, you know, invisible distinction between the lean and the fat particles, but in the end, we're gonna have a product that's gonna taste just as good as bacon. It just won't look quite like bacon. Yep. So we have our meat. We're trying to get somewhere in the 80 to 20 to 60 to 40% range with the beef and pork. But for the turkey, we're gonna add some carrot fiber and extra water. A nice thing about the imitation bacon seasoning is that it already has phosphates in it for water retention. So while that bacon, the turkey one, might be a little bit different, it should still be really nice and juicy. We've measured out all of this for two pound batches. So we have 0 .7, 0 0.075 pounds or 1.2 ounces of the imitation bacon seasoning. And this does already, already, already contains cure. We've also got 4.8 ounces of water. We've also got 0.16 ounces of our smoked meat stabilizer. We're, simp we're just adding the smoked meat stabilizer because we don't want to wait overnight for the cure to work in the meat. Basically, we're hungry right now and we want to cook this immediately as soon as we're done and we don't want to wait that, to eat bacon so we're always like that well, so we're going to mix our meat until we have protein extraction and the meat is nice and sticky with a mixer this would take somewhere about five minutes but since we're doing such small batches we didn't want to dirty up a mixer uh, so we're just going to mix it by hand and you know it'll take as long as it takes so we're going to mix it Another nice thing about this process is that the seasoning we use, that imitation bacon seasoning, already has a smoke flavor and hickory smoke powder mixed into it. And if you want to increase that smoke flavor even more, you could either add more hickory smoke powder or actually smoke it in a smoker. For us today, we're just going to do this in an oven and that's the easiest, quickest way to do it. Probably how most of you guys at home are going to do it. So we're going to just cook in an oven. To cook, we're going to start out at 120 degrees for one hour and then 145 degrees for one hour, and finally, the oven's gonna be set to 175 degrees until we hit an internal meat temp of 160 degrees. If your oven or smoker can't go down to as low as 120, just start cooking as low as possible. So we're back, we've cooked it, sliced it, and it is fully cooked, ready to eat if we wanted to now, but for it to be fully like bacon, your best bet is either pan cook it, or with my bacon at home, I just like to throw it in the oven uh, for about 30 minutes or so, just to crisp it up, give it that nice bacony texture. Yeah. This stuff is still has a, a, ba a good bacon flavor to it right now, yeah. but when you, when you make it crispy, that's really what a lot of people associate with bacon. Mm -hmm. As soon as you, yeah, mm. get this crispy, it's perfect. So out of the three, I think I liked the beef one the best, surprisingly. I thought it would be the pork, but I think it was the beef. I think the beef has a different texture that I like the texture on it. Yeah. The, uh, the pork, I mean, it tastes like pork. It tastes very similar to bacon, but 
don't know, something different about it. And the turkey is not bad, but it's turkey bacon. It's, tur I mean, right. it's not the same. It is not bacon. It but it is taste. good because that is a whole lot less calories than the pork is. But And sadly, that does matter. I wish it didn't. Thanks for watching our imitation bacon video. Make sure you subscribe to Walton's TV on YouTube to be the first to know when we release new videos. And remember to tap the bell next to that subscribe button to get notified about each new video. As always, make sure you visit waltonsinc.com or meatgistics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm Austin. And John. With Walton's TV, and we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's TV to watch more YouTube videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. You can also watch more videos from Walton's TV by clicking here or clicking here.